What is up everybody? My name is Adam and welcome back to Broke Man Finance, a channel where we try to help you go from broke to not so broke. Today we are talking about news and updates from Solana and a little bit of technical analysis because a lot of people believe that we could see Solana change direction soon because everything's been on the dip and start blasting through all time highs. This is why I love Solana, because even with everything dipping, including themselves, people still cannot deny Solana's unbelievable potential and where we believe Solana is heading whenever we look at the big picture. It's crazy to think that at Thanksgiving last year, around this time, Solana was trading for $1.90, $1.90. Now think about where Solana will be next year, five years from now, 10 years from now, and so on. And that's important because a lot of people don't believe that a lot of our favorite cryptos right now are still going to be hanging around in the next 10 years. However, Solana is one that I think will make the cut and continue pushing forward over the next decade. Let's get into it. So this came out yesterday, and I think that the title is a little sensationalized. No, I do not think Solana is the next Bitcoin. I don't think Solana is the next Bitcoin. I do think they can get as big as they are now one day but it's never gonna take Bitcoin's place. It's just not. And that's not a knock, it's just the truth. Bitcoin is Bitcoin. Nobody's taking their place. And the title was just a little bit of clickbait to get you into the article, which hell, it worked on me. And hopefully something in this video works on you that you decide to hit that subscribe button. And if you're so inclined, make sure you do me a solid and hit that like button. Hey, it's the holidays. I even got my little Christmas tree in the background. Sam Bankman fried the founder of the crypto exchange FTX, is optimistic about Solana. He believes that Solana has the potential to scale to Bitcoin's mass adoption level. See, not that Sam thinks it's going to be the next Bitcoin, he thinks it could get to their adoption level. There's a difference. Sam also believes that Solana is better than Ethereum, as it's one of the few blockchains that is planning to accommodate mass adoption. Now, personally, I haven't put Solana over Ethereum yet. I think they will be a great competitor to Ethereum, but I cannot label them the Ethereum killer, which I feel like gets thrown around a lot here lately. Everybody's the next Ethereum killer. I don't think the only Ethereum killer is Ethereum themselves. As of right now, there's a lot of great competitors, but be careful whenever you hear somebody referring to a crypto as the Ethereum killer, because I think we are far away from that. I am still on board the Ethereum train, and I think Ethereum is going to be around for a while. Nonetheless, whenever someone like Sam speaks on anything crypto, we need to listen because, hey, the dude is pretty damn smart. How smart? Well, the 29-year-old crypto founder is smart enough that he has a net worth of $22.5 billion. Just a, few, just a few more to myself. Actually, $22.5 billion more. Making him the youngest person to enter the Forbes good old rich list right behind Mark Zuckerberg. In a recent interview, Sam was asked about crashes and recoveries, and this is what he said. There will always be more crashes as well as more bull runs, and in the next few years, he expects to see substantial institutional adoption of cryptocurrencies. In the event of a crash, however, he says that projects with loyal followers Solana, and important use cases Solana, will, more, will most likely survive. Hype-driven projects like meme coins and shit coins often crash the hardest. Projects that have real adoption or potential for real adoption are the ones that loyalists will be backing even during bear markets. Say it again with me, Solana. Sam believes Solana could legitimately be the next Bitcoin in terms of adoption. And I know that comment, just like the Ethereum killer, the next Bitcoin gets used a lot, but in Solana's case, I think they could be in terms of adoption. They're never gonna take Bitcoin's place, but they could be on the same level in terms of adoption. I think that's the part that Sam and myself, not that I'm Sam, is trying to drive home. Sam added that Solana's market cap could exceed Ethereum's at some point. However, it is hard to make a concrete prediction. And I've talked about this a lot on this channel that with the volatility and craziness of the crypto world, it's like the wild, wild west sometimes. There's no way to really give solid predictions on anything crypto. But one thing that cannot be disputed is that Solana fixes a lot of problems with Ethereum. That's true. And not only because of the transactional cost, but they are much more energy efficient and greener than most. For instance, when it comes to conducting transactions, they are greener than web browsing giant Google. It's true. 
According to a new report, the Solana Foundation determined that a single Solana transaction takes 0.00051 kilowatt hours or 1,836 joules of energy. To put things into perspective, a single Google search reportedly consumes around 1,080 joules, meaning two Google searches will consume more energy than just one transaction on the Solana network. And it doesn't stop there. Transactions on Solana also requires 24 times less energy, less, less energy than charging a cell phone. And the entire Solana network only uses, and I'm going to have to read this so I don't mess up the number, 3,186,000 kilowatt hours per year. This is the equivalent to the average electricity usage of 986 households in the USA. Hashtag green AF. Now let's get a bit technical. An article came out yesterday on fxstreet.com titled, Solana Price Forms Bear Trap Before Soul Ascends Towards $325. First things first, after reading that title, you may be asking yourself, well, what the hell is a bear trap? And if you don't know, what kind of sense is that article going to make and what kind of sense is this video going to make? The basic definition of a bear trap is when a bearish chart pattern occurs and falsely, falsely signals a reversal of the rising price trend. What you see is a reversal pattern that has formed on an uptrend. You think the price is going to fall and continue down, and it doesn't. Price begins to trade sideways, or it goes back up. Usually, that means you have missed the support or the overall uptrend, and you should have bought the dip. On November 26th, Seoul sliced below the prevailing chart pattern's downside trend line, indicating that the uptrend is in jeopardy. However, Technical indicators suggest that this recent low only formed a bear trap. While Solana price fell to a swing low at $182, the relative strength index failed to reach a new low indicating a bullish divergence. This trading signal suggests that the bears are losing control over the market and that the bulls are ready to take over, marking the end of a temporary downtrend. The prevailing chart pattern suggests that Solana price could tag the upper boundary and 127.2% Fibonacci retracement level as its next bullish target at $325, marking a 54% climb. The final hurdle appears to be at $259, Solana's all-time high, which sits near the middle boundary of the governing technical pattern before Sol aims for the optimistic target at $325. So even when things seem rough for Solana, don't sleep on the growth potential of this monster. Solana, in my opinion, and again, I am no financial advisor, I cannot say that enough, but I just cannot see a world in which Solana is not part of it in the next five to 10 years and so on. There are very few cryptos that I will say that about, but Solana is one, Bitcoin is one, Ethereum is one, and, there, and there's several more that goes on down the list. So I'm still riding with Solana and I am buying all the dips I can because I believe in the next five to 10 years, you're going to be looking at that number now, like we're looking at that dollar 90 from Thanksgiving last year, wishing we should have bought so much more. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you ride or die with Solana or is there somebody else on your radar? As always, I hope you stay safe. I hope you get rich and we will see you soon.